Welcome back, rodeo fans. This spring's been kind of a wild ride. This week's edition of Three Minute Ag's headed for you. Run to the coffee pot and grab you a splash. Meet me back here and we'll go at it. Well, I wonder what it's like to be the rainmaker. I wonder what it's like to know that I made the rain. Hey guys, this spring has definitely provided us with a bunch of challenges. We've got a lot of acres sprayed, we got some acres yet to go. You guys probably have most of your acres planted, maybe a few wet spots left to patch in. One thing we want to talk about this week on 3 Minute Ag is paying attention to your chemistry labels. Certain chemistries are labeled for different heights of corn, other chemistries are labeled for different growth stages. Same way with soybeans. Make sure you're reading the label. If you guys are doing your own spraying, it's very important to know where your emergence is at in the field if your crop is all at the same stage in growth, and then what that label says. Take Zidua Pro for example. If you got your beans planted and then they came up during the wet weather before you could get them sprayed, you need to drop the Zidua Pro because it has the Sharpen in it. You cannot spray Sharpen on something that's already emerged. However, you can run a Dicamba product and some Zidua for your residual. The most important thing on the chemistry is just make sure you take time to read the label. We'd hate for a field to get misapplied and have crop injury because the growth stages were incorrect. The next thing we want to talk about is nitrogen. With the wet weather we've had this spring, it's quite possible we've leached a lot of nitrogen out of the profile. As you're getting ready to start side dressing, it may be time to do a soil sample, or as the crop progresses a little farther, do some leak tissue analysis to see what nutrients we're short on. If you're getting ready to side dress anyway, maybe a guy could bump up his nitrogen, maybe a guy could bump up his sulfur. These are a couple nutrients that we know we're probably going to be short on because of how well they dissolve in water. And like it or not, we've had plenty of water this spring. I know you don't want to keep throwing money after the same crop, but you've already invested a fair amount. We'd hate to go down the road and lose that crop and all the inputs we've put into it so far because of a nitrogen shortage. All right, guys, and one final thought. We like to joke around. We like to have fun here on 3 Minute Ag. But on a serious note, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. This cloudy, damp weather we're having has definitely not been good for morale. We know you're under stress because something needs to be planted fertilized, sprayed, cows turned out on grass, or whatever it is, we know your plates are full of work. Make sure you take care of yourself. Your family's there for you. If you need to talk, we're here for you. But take care of yourselves, your friends, your family. You're all valued customers, and we'd like to see you guys around for a long time. So don't let the stress and the weather get you down. There are ways to work through it. Call one of us. We'd be glad to talk to you. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's Three Minute Ag. We're signing off from inside the dry shed because it's dry as opposed to outside where it's not dry. Feel free to look us up on YouTube and follow along with 3 Minute Ag. We'll see you guys in the field.